Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Getting Started with Pipedrive series um, of training videos here on YouTube brought to you by the Marks Group. So today we're going to be talking about custom activities and lost reasons. So we can actually customize uh, our activity types here in Pipedrive, although there are quite a few good ones to begin with right out of the box. We can add some more and add a little icon to them or change our, our existing or even reorder these. And then we can also, if we go back to our deals, we can customize our lost reasons. So if you were to lose a deal right now, you'll see that we have just have an open text box for the lost reason, which is fine and it can be uh, descriptive enough, but maybe your users aren't putting in descriptive enough, descriptive enough reasons or maybe you want to uh, do some reporting on this. There are a couple of different reasons why you might want to add some, um, you know, a drop down of predetermined lost reasons that they can choose from. So we're going to talk about how to add those as well. So first, we are going to deal with our activities. So if we go over to acti our activity section, um, we can go ahead and add an activity here, but you will see that we've got our six out of the box activities. And if we go to our little pipe drive user icon here and then go to company settings, We can go to activities here, right under company settings, under company, and we will see a list of activity types. And these are the ones out of the box. You'll see that we have an activated section and a deactivated section. So if you add a couple and you realize um, you don't need them or you want to uh, just remove them temporarily or whatever the case, like for example, right now, um, lunches in a pandemic aren't really happening. so we could go ahead and deactivate this in our example. And if we wanted to add them back as an option, we can just go ahead and activate that again. We can also rearrange our existing activity types by dragging and dropping here. And we can edit the icons or the names of existing activity types by clicking edit. And we've got all of these to choose from and we can change the name of the activity right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, activate one of these and we can add an activity type of um, a postcard and we'll just pick something here so we've added a couple of these new activity types and if we go over to our, our, our activity section here you will need to refresh the page for these to actually show up or any changes that you've made. But then you will see them all here. So we've got our project travel, our postcard, and then our rearranged other uh, activity types that we added. And if you click the plus sign here, you will see the same icons available for your choosing. And if you hover over them, if you're not quite sure what <laughs> what one of these icons means, it'll show you the name of the activity type. And that is how you add different activity types. Super, um, super straightforward. And I'm just gonna go ahead and change this back. So we went to company settings again, we went to our activities tab here. And let's say, we're not going to be using this postcard or this project travel activity type for the time being. And we will leave this stuff as is. Now straight from here, we can go over to our 
lost reasons. And once again, so there are no predefined lost reasons out of the box. Um, when you go to lose a deal, it just has an open text field, which uh, can get a little bit messy in terms of, you know, looking at actual data um, or reporting. So if we wanted to add a predefined lost reason, let's say um, not enough expertise. And um, budgetary. Um, lost to competitor. So here we've got a couple of different options for our users to choose from. And we have the option to turn off the that open text field. Um, so if we just say no here, and we can go back to our deals, and we'll refresh the page just in case. Do a quick refresh. And if we were to drag and drop this into the lost bin, we can select our lost reason here. And you'll notice we do not have the option to specify our own lost reason. So if we go back to company settings, go back to lost reasons, and we turn this back on, let's see if it'll go without needing to refresh. Sure enough, we have the option to say other, and then you can uh, add whatever text you need to in this area here. But this will just simplify things in terms of reporting. Um, it just might be easier for your users to think of some, you know, of the correct lost reason if it's right in front of them. Um, so this is generally a good thing to customize. And if you're an administrator, you'll have the little shortcut to this right here. And we can go ahead and edit the existing ones like this or just straight up delete them by clicking the delete button. And we can just start from scratch. All right, so just to quickly review what we talked about today. First, we talked about custom activities and how you can create the custom activity types. And if we go back to our activity area here, you'll see the these are the out of the box ones, but you can easily add them by going to company settings, activities. You can choose from any deactivated ones that you might have. You can add new activity types right here. And by the way, if you're wondering what, you know, what a specific icon actually is called, you can just hover over it. Um, it might be helpful when you're picking the icon for a custom activity type. So a good one, for example, might be text. And then when you go back to activities, um, as you're working through this, and if you don't see it, don't worry, just re hit refresh, do a control R or hit the refresh button in your browser. Or command R if you're on a Mac. And it'll show up um, right here. And again, if we click activity, we'll see the icon that we just added. And then again, we can go over to our deals. And if we were to close this one as lost, you might want to add some a drop down of lost reasons. 
We can edit this in company settings as well. We can just add a predefined loss reason here. And then as you start adding them, you will have the option to turn off the open text area um, if you only want your users to be able to choose from the predefined options. All right, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, feel free to check out our other pipe drive videos here on YouTube. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me, megan at marksgroup.net. And thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time.